Hello everyone, welcome back to an episode of Upgrade FC, the Road to Division 1 series where we're playing FIFA 17 and using the upgrade packs to try to make our way into Division Uno. So currently we're in Division 2, we're playing really well, we've only had one loss, five wins, um, so now with four games remaining we're on 15 points, we can get the title, we can get the promotion in this episode. To get the title we just need to win two games, we're really just aiming to get the promotion though, so that would be one win or three draws. We of course got Team of the Season Sigurdsson by winning the Daily Knockout Tournament. Last episode we packed two very important players, Parolo and then McCarthy. So that has allowed us to create this squad, which is 90 chemistry, one of the highest chem squads that we've built. 4.5 star, 82 overall rating, Immobile, Gabbiadini, Parolo, Vieira, McCarthy, Sigurdsson, Moses, Reed, Williams, Pepe, and Butland. Um, usually, well, I was thinking that I should switch Sigurdsson and Parolo in-game, but it turns out that I kind of like having Sigurdsson play deeper as a center mid because he's not really doing too much for as a cam, he's not really too agile. And I think agility is one of the most important traits for a cam to have in this game. So we're probably going to stick with this in-game, roll with this squad, see what we can do in this episode. As always, if you guys are enjoying the video, please drop a like. I know it seems like uh, a like probably isn't that big of a deal, but I do put, I try to put a lot of effort in and I try to make these videos not terrible. So if you guys do like the video, please drop the like, it does mean a lot. Alright, this team is coming up with a 5 star 86 overall 100 chem squad. He's got that Tots Jorgensen and Guardado, Tots Guardado. Uh, he doesn't have the inform or the Tots Shona. He has that Tots Larson, I think that is, the left winger. Blinkovic Savage inform. It's a good squad, um, but I'm not sure if some of these players are really going to be causing me trouble. Parolo down for Victor Moses. Moses actually was one of the best players in last episode. We're gonna play it through for Gabbiadini. He's gonna hit it with the left. Oh, what a save by Consili. We still have it though. Jonathan Vieira inside, McCarthy. That's a great start for the boys. Up one nil inside of three minutes. The first attack going forward. The Irishman, he gets on the end of it. We were unlucky here. It was a great save by Consili, but then we didn't give up on the play. Great pass by Vieira. Good first time hit. Play it through. Is he onside? Oh, no, it's gonna fall to me though. James McCarthy. That's a foul. He didn't even... What? How's that a foul on me? He didn't even go for the ball. Play it down. Play it through. It's Gabbiadini. Right foot! No, it's actually Parolo. Parolo, the Italian boys. I can't tell the difference between them. They all have the same features. Not racism. I am actually a quarter Italian, so I can be offensive because I love pasta too. Barolo plays it over the top. Gabbiadini's gonna get there. Go! Vai! Gabbiadini! Right foot! Please tell me you have a right foot! Oh, Consili, that is a good save. We still have it though. Mobile. Inside. Gabbiadini. Oh, it's actually Parolo. What a great first touch! Hit it for me! Oh, another good save by Consili. Gabbiadini, Immobile. Parolo. The Italian boys. Plays it for Immobile. Chiro, wait for him. Play it to Sigurdsson. Gilfie! Bang it! Oh, that was such a weak shot. Gilfie Sigurdsson is actually not very good. Oh no, it's dangerous. Gordado, what a recovery tackle by Victor Moses. Victor Moses, one of the unsung heroes in the squadron. Parolo, back for Sigurdsson. Come on, Gilfie. Do something for me, Gilfie. He never does anything for me. Gilfie, unless it's a free kick, he's ha he can't see the score. He's done well here. Moses, Marco Parolo, hit it for me! Oh, Parolo should have had another one. He's been so good for us. Play it back. One more down. Parolo, another one. Victor Moses, bang it! Oh, he's offside. Hit the post again. So at the break, we're playing really well. Eight shots, seven on target, two goals. We could be getting more goals if uh, Consili wasn't making so many saves for him. I'm going to take uh, Immobile off because he's not really actually done too much the last like several episodes. Zinjak's going to come on. Oh no, he plays it through. Jorgensen finally gets through and he makes it 2-1. 79th minute, so this game is definitely not over. That was just idiotic play by me. I took my... Look at what I'm doing. What am I doing with the center back? Why am I doing that? Vera inside. Zinyak, Gabbiadini, left foot, look at that, oh no, it deserved a goal, that was such good play, look at the feet of Gabbiadini, oh no, wait, where is this whistle, this is a very long extra period, no, don't do it to me game, don't do it to, oh my gosh, he's got a last minute corner, defend this corner with your lives boys, come on, headers out, Vera, clear it, yes, there we go, final whistle, can't believe it, I kind of dominated that game, and I'm surprised I only won by one goal, Man, the match was Parolo, played really well for us. He had a goal, another goal to McCarthy. The two guys that we packed last episode assist Sigurdsson and Vieira. So we have clinched the promotion into Division 1. We have three games remaining. We could draw all three games or just win one of them and we get the title. All right, so last episode I did those uh, manager tasks thing and I pulled a Pedro. Now I asked you guys if I should use him and you guys said, yeah, I should be able to use him. So I'm able to create this squad now, which is 98 chemistry, 
Four and a half star 81 overall. I'm not using the Sigurdsson, but honestly, he's not been that great for us. We have Gabbiadini, Immobile, then we have Diamante, Pedro, El Caduri, Rolo, Teo, Fernandez, Pepe, Semedo, Reyna. Now, honestly, in my opinion, it's not as strong as the other team is, but we have better chemistry, so we'll see if that has a difference on this match. All right, so for this match, we're coming up against a 4.5 star 82 overall 100 chem team. Walcott, he's got Rooney, who might have played his last game for Manchester United yesterday. He's got Shakiri, Dembele, Fellaini, who got man of the match, has an 85 overall man of the match card. Gundawan, Moreno, Matip, Williams, like, uh, actually, Williams isn't in the squad, Bayern, and then Czech. Now, it's not a huge deal if I don't win this game because I have two other attempts, but I honestly would like to get it over with as soon as possible so I can get into some of those packs because of the coin reward that I'll get for winning the title. Oh, he plays it behind. Oh no, it's Walcott. He's got a lot of pace on him. He's gonna center it, and Rooney, that's an easy goal for him. See, we don't have the pace down the wings, so when someone like Walcott comes in, he's gonna cause us a lot of problems. Oh no, he plays it in behind. It's Zerdan Shakiri. He's gonna finesse it. Okay. See, this is causing us a lot of problems. He's actually realized how to play against a three at the back formation, which is just go wide. Play it wide. Christian Teo. Go, Teo. Come on. Good first touch. Get away from Alberto Moreno. As if Alberto Moreno would even be in on the pitch right now. Center it. Oh, no. We should have done better with that. Play it. One more. Go. El Caduri. Come on, El Caduri. Look for someone to center it to. Center it to Diamante. Or back post Gabbiadini. Wow. It didn't shoot it. That's the button lag, but Gabbiadini still puts it in. I guess he. I guess it's good that he has to take a touch because I did really whip it in. But if I tell you to shoot, you should probably shoot if that's like how this video game thing works. Alright, he's got a free kick with Rooney. It's kind of dangerous. Oh my gosh, what a save by Reyna. That was very dangerous. Alright, so halftime, he's kind of dominating us. I think we need to change something because he knows basically how to play. You just send people wide and we don't really have covering for that. So I need to switch formation. Okay, I'm just actually not, I'm not going to switch formation. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the instructions so Pedro is going to stay back or come back on defense and Tello will do the same. Also, I'm going to take off Tello and I'm going to put on Victor Moses. And then I'm going to take off Mobile and put on Modesti. Right, we have a free kick uh, kind of far out, so we're going to whip it in with Victor Moses. Can someone get on the end of that? Modest, get in there. Come on, wreak havoc, Modest. It's going to fall to Diamante. Plays it. Modest, first time hit. Oh, he almost made an immediate impact. Tony Modest. I still love you. Play it through. Go, Modest. Tony. Tony the Tiger. Tony Modest. Bang it home. Tony Modest! What can I say, boys? What can I say about the legend that cannot be already said? That's a heart for me to you, Tony. I love you, okay? He's probably going to get a team of the season, and I'm probably going to use it for the rest of FIFA 17. Just look at this. He's suddenly fast. I don't know where this pace is coming from. And look at this beautiful hit. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Tony Modest. I know how to read. We know. We have a connection. Diamante, Modest, wide, go Victor Moses, come on, Victor, keep going, look to center it, look to center it, get to, oh, what a, and behind, play it now, Tony Modest, take a touch, bang it, left foot, oh my god, I love this guy, Tony Modest, he is my guy, how did he just do that on his weak foot, he's legendary, look at this, he, that's ridiculous, that is a ridiculous strike, and it goes into the bottom corner. When I hit that, I thought, oh, I've messed up. You can't mess up with Tony Modest. It's not possible. Oh, it's a great ball in behind. He's going to center it? No, he's not. He's going to make it 3-2, 78th minute. We still have work to do. Come on, boys. I'm going to need, I'm going to call on Tony Modest. He's got to pull it through. He's got to get this hat trick for us. Rolo into Victor Moses. Where is Tony? Where is Tony? There is Tony! Oh, don't tell me, don't tell me that's an own goal. That is a hat trick for Tony Modest, even if they consider this an own goal, which would be absolute nonsense. Oh, it's not absolute nonsense. This game knows what to do. Tony Modest gets another hat trick off the bench. No surprise who man the match was. It's Tony Modest. 10 hat trick. Legend. Gabbiadini had two assists, El Caduri assist, Moses an assist, but I just honestly can't say enough about Tony Modest. He is my favorite player in FIFA 17. And that amazing performance gets us the title here in Division 2. 21 points, 2 games remaining, we played pretty well, 7 wins, no draws, only 1 loss. Okay, so I'm not actually going to play another game because I have these 15,000 coins about that I want to open bronze packs and go through. So I'm going to do that for next episode, we're going to start Division 1 after I see if I can improve the squad a little bit. But don't leave yet because we're going to look at top players in this squad, in this club. So if we start, if we sort by overall, we can see that we actually have two pretty high rated players. 
Uh, Pepe, who we packed, the walkout, the only walkout we've gotten, and then Sigurdsson, uh, 89 overall. Then the rest of them, pretty low rated, like low 80s, but they're still solid players. If we go to games played and sort by that, Rafael Guerrero is actually leading. He hasn't played in a while, but 68 games played. The reason was because he's Portuguese and he had Bundesliga, so he gets a lot of good links for that. Um, and then next is Diamante. Now if we sort by the most important thing, goals, we see that we now have a new leader. It was actually Diamante previous to that last game, but then the hat trick put Modest. He actually went from a tied fourth position with Gabbiadini up to first place. So he is on 32. Diamante, 31 goals, but he hasn't actually, well he played last game, but other than that he doesn't usually get into the squad. Chiro Mobile has fallen off. He has 30 goals, which is third in the club but he hasn't scored in a long time. Gabby Dini, 29, then Gignac, 17. You can see we got some midfielders in here. Sigurdsson actually has three, and two of those are from free kicks. If we sort by assist, it's not even close. Diamante, 42 assists. I mean, the next closest is 16. That's a huge, that's like 26 go uh, assist difference. And then Immobile, 14, Gabby Dini, 12. That's because he's playing in that cam role. He's been playing in that cam role, which is the most important position, I think, in FIFA 17 for scoring goals and for getting assists. All right, so boys, that's where I'm gonna leave it off for this episode of Upgrade FC. Hope you did enjoy it. No, it was a shorter episode, but I still think it's worth it in the end. Uh, I have a question. Who do you think is the player of the series? Right now, I know it's not over yet, but just showing, just looking at the stats and looking at how I've played with them, who do you think the player of the series is? You can just leave a comment down below. Anyway, I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, comment, share it with your friends. Hope to see you boys next time, and as always, don't forget to spay your pets.